<laughs> when I walk into these sets, I'm like, perfect. Rob King, you're genius. How you do this successfully is that you make each character your favorite, and that way you can supply the meat that makes their living space or their workspace or uh, any of their encounter areas really interesting. We go off of the script and we tell the story. Come on in, Dad. That's where we shoot all of the interior of Jesse's uh, new apartment. We have never seen his taste in this, in their show. The first thing that Vin said is two folding yard chairs. And so we searched high low. We were able to come up with about seven or eight choices. And he was watching television on these folding lawn chairs, which was very funny. What you two need is an honest to God businessman, right? Somebody who treats your product like the simple high margin commodity that it is. One of my favorite new guys is Saul. A sleazy attorney who's willing to help at all costs. He did his own Oval Office with cheesy materials. This is styrofoam, and it's real. He did styrofoam columns. We the People was a pretty terrific background. These windows, which are fake. You know, we weren't afraid to be fake here. It was part of the fun. We always do uh, either crack houses. We become expert at crack houses or ramshackle houses. We call it ramshackle house, but that's where the tweakers lived. Shut up! Shut up! Both of you! But the minute we got in, we knew we were in the right place because it was everything that it was. <laughs> it's nice to find things that are tattered and torn. I think that's the beauty of it, where you look for the things that have an art form within the garbage itself. Theo's house, somebody in the crew dubbed it the Sugar Shack, and that's how everybody referred to it. And this place was just in smack dab in the middle of nowhere. That was the spookiest, strangest environment ever. And we had a chance to go in there and gut it and make it work for our film. Walt and Jesse are sitting on couch with cushions that now only have a couple of cushions left. And I cracked some of the back bars. If he finds out that Gonzo is dead and not a police informant, who does he automatically blame? Us. You can really feel that set, I think. And it, they really, really did an extraordinary job of shooting that episode. I think the most important thing about the Schrader house um, is the many shades of purple that, <laughs> that exist in the house. Marie's crazy about purple and the Fricati rug in purple and such things. It was fun to see her influences everywhere. And the only place that Hank can stretch is his clubhouse in the garage. Marie definitely controls the house. <laughs> I didn't know you were allowed to touch a stove. Hilarious, Groucho. I think we've done our work this year. Uh, we made it very exciting, every episode for everybody. When an actor comes on a set, it's that living environment of what you create that helps him get into character. These wonderful actors that we have, they set the bar so high that we feel compelled to at least match that, you know, in our work. We cre create a real environment of what life is, and that's the pleasure of Breaking Bad.